Okay, lesson 83. A week or two ago, we integration we did integration of odd powers of sine x and cosine x. And with odd powers, we're using that Pythagorean identity where you can separate off a single sine or cosine, and then the other is in terms of squares, okay, or, you know, multiples of two, and so you can use that. Well, with even powers, it doesn't work like that because you don't have just a single extra line around to take care of it, the chain rule, which is what we really need. So, with even powers, we have to do some substitution. And we're using, is it the double angle rule? I, can't remember, I think it's a double angle formula. Um, Slight very, it's a different variation than what the version we worked with in pre-cal was, but the idea of, okay, there's a typo here somewhere. I always forget this. No, it's a typo in the very beginning. It's an important typo because it's at the very beginning right where it matters. Okay, so our double angle formulas, I think that's the right name for them, isn't it? So they're both they are. Oh, yeah. Like that. yeah. Okay, so we're using variations of the double angle formulas. I was looking, where are the half angles, or do we not have the half angles on here? Yeah, they're definitely not the half angles. So um, when we talked about double angles, this is the page you see in the front of your notes, but it's using the these two right here, cosine 2x, okay? Cosine 2x is the one that has three different variations, okay? So cosine 2x equals 1 minus 2 sine squared x, so we're using that one, solve for sine squared. And then cosine 2x equals 2 cosine squared x minus 1. We're using that one, solve for cosine squared x. And so that's why they're both in terms of cosine 2x. Okay? So um, make sure, yes, they are both in terms of cosine. That's a typo. But basically we're going to talk about substituting those in and then integrating from there. So, shall we try the first one? Okay, here we go. Integrating cosine squared x dx. So, the you know, if there was an extra sine x off to the side, we would be fine, okay? Um, we could think you substitution or something, but because it's just a cosine squared x, and there's nothing to help with the chain rule, we're going to have to substitute. So what am I going to substitute in for cosine squared x? Yeah, one half plus one half cosine of 2x. And then, of course, dx. Now, officially, and again, I don't feel like you always have to do this, but officially, since there is adding within this integral, Officially, we can split it up into two integrals being added. And so we could think of this. Now, the first one, well, okay. So one half, and of course that's going to be one half dx, plus the next one, it's the one half cosine two x. How do you guys feel if I go ahead and put the one half out front? Is that okay? I could have done the same on the last one, but it was a little more awkward. So one half integral of cosine two x dx. Okay. The constants, an easier one, I hope. What's the integral of one half?
The integral of 1 half? 1 half x. You guys all went totally silent on me. I even... Uh, <laughs> it's a really okay. You're amongst friends. Surely you can get it wrong and just move on, you know? I don't trust these guys. <laughs> or they, they'll hold you to it forever. watching for your mistakes, I guess, God forbid, I make a careless mistake, too. I can be held to my mistakes. Okay, the one half, out, I'm going to carry the one half out front, and then we are integrating cosine of 2x. Um, okay, and this is, can you guys do this on your own, or do you need to think you use substitution? Okay, and on this first one, I'm just going to do it on the first one, just to kind of show. If you, you know, just want to see the, I don't know, proof, so to speak, the u substitution, if I put u in for 2x, okay, then what is du? If u is 2x, then du is 2dx. If I solve that for t dx, you divide the 2, right? It's du divided by 2 equals dx. And so the idea here, when I write this out, the integral of cosine of 2x is rewritten as the integral of cosine of u. What is dx replaced with? dx is replaced with du over 2, which is really just du and one half. So that's the, you know, that's the one half Daryl was referring to, that we need a one half to compensate here, right? Because the derivative of 2x is 2, so when you do the integral, you have to have the one half to compensate for it. So let's actually, I'll actually integrate in this one. It's still a one half x out front. If you want to, one half times one half is already one fourth. What's the integral of cosine of something? sine of something. And officially it would be sine of u in this case, but if I go ahead and sub it back in, it's sine of 2x. And then it is an indefinite integral, and so we need a plus c. Someone did it to me yesterday. Someone left off their plus c on the test. I honestly don't remember who it was. <laughs> so... It might have been me as well. I put plus C twice on the back of the test, so maybe I can just borrow one of them. Okay. Like, what is the same problem? Plus C plus C. Were you equivalent? Question mark? I don't have a good answer there. <laughs> I don't know. I would have to think about that. I don't know because we don't know what C is. But we're not adding the same thing twice, which is what plus C plus C would indicate. So I don't know. How about we move on to example two? Are you guys okay with example one then? Okay, example two. We are integrating sine squared, cosine squared, dx. So... The reason we can't just separate into pieces like earlier is we would need evens and then one extra piece, and I don't have that, okay? They're all evens to begin with. So, what are you thinking we're going to do here? Yeah. We have to substitute for not one of these, but both of them. It is no fun. I kind of agree. But we're still going to do it. Okay, so the integral of sine squared x cosine squared x dx. So what am I subbing in for sine squared x? One half minus one half cosine two x times what am I subbing in for cosine squared x? One 
one half plus one half cosine two x. And then of course there is a dx at the end. Okay. What do I do with this grossness? Foil. Okay, let's foil. So it's still the integral. One half times one half is one fourth. What do you notice about these two factors? They're the same with opposite signs. The vocabulary word there is conjugates. What happens when you multiply the same with opposite signs or conjugates? The middle terms cancel out, right? So we would have plus one fourth cosine two x and minus one fourth cosine two x. That makes it a little less gross, right? So then last, minus one half times positive one half is minus one fourth. Cosine two x times cosine two x. Cosine squared two x. Dx. I definitely heard the question, the voice there of. Um, so I want to say we also multiply the inside for some reason. Nope, the insides just stay. They're kind of off limits. Thoughts now? Well, we got rid of the cosine squared and just got back to it. Okay, but we did get rid of. Sine squared. Okay, we got rid of the sine squared, but we still have a cosine squared. So now what? We have to substitute again. Or we could just set the pencil down and give up on the We can accept Okay, so the whole point in this lesson is when you have just a squared, a cosine squared x or a sine squared x, you're going to have to substitute. Now, we've got a slight trick with this substitution too, so be careful. Yeah. So we still have one fourth minus one fourth, right? Now it's one fourth times cosine squared of two x. What is our formula for up at the top of the page? Cosine squared of x. So hold that thought. Okay, so cosine squared is one half plus one half times cosine of, up top it says cosine of two x. So two times whatever the previous quantity is. What is the previous quantity now? Two x. So we're doing two times two x, which makes it four x in this case. Okay, so did you kind of follow? The formula up above says you start with cosine squared x, you then have cosine 2x. This time we started with cosine squared 2x, so we have to double whatever is in there, and that's why it became 4x. Okay? What kind of cleanups can I do? That minus one fourth can distribute to the one half and to the one half cosine four x. So out front, I still have one fourth minus one fourth times one half is one eighth. And then I'm distributing another minus one fourth. Minus one fourth times one half cosine four x. So minus one eighth cosine four x. Um, you want one more step of cleanup before we integrate? What's the cleanup I can do still? How about just two individuals? 
What is one fourth minus one eighth? Nope. So one fourth is equivalent to two eighths. Two eighths minus one eighth is one eighth. So this is the integral of one eighth minus one eighth cosine four x dx. Good news is I think we're finally about ready to integrate. Well, the only other thing, I mean, we got rid of, we don't have any cosine squares, just cosine 4x. So the only other thing you might do is to split it into two integrals. And I don't know if you guys necessarily do that or not, but officially, this is going to be the integral of 1 8 dx minus the integral of 1 8 cosine 4x dx. Am I on the screen? And the answer is no. Okay, integral of one eighth. Well, if you guys don't want the easy one, I'll take the easy one. You guys get the hard one then. One eighth x minus. Now we do the integral of one eighth cosine four x. Keep in mind there's already a one eighth. What's the integral of cosine four x? So what's the integral of cosine of something? Sine of something. Because this is going to be, it was cosine 4x and it's going to be sine of 4x, compensate with a 1 fourth. Plus C. Plus C. You can do one final cleanup step and give me an answer of 1 eighth x minus one thirty second sine four x plus Trevor C. I can't disagree there. I mean, I just can't. It was kind of gross. I, you know, calculus is that way sometimes. Sometimes it's not bad. Other times it's gross. What'd you say? We should stop. Well, you can kind of see where this next one's going. It's sine to the fourth. So this time we're going to break it into two sine squareds. So we're going to plug in the things for sine squareds. And then we're going to get rid of those two sine squareds, but then we're going to have a cosine squared. So then we're going to have to plug in for, because in other words, this problem's a lot like the last problem, isn't it? So let's practice. I don't like these as much as the other ones. I agree. I definitely prefer the even ones, but you can definitely see whether while well, they teach them at two different times. Okay, so. The idea of sine to the fourth is the fact that it is sine squared x. You could say sine squared x times sine squared x, or it's sine squared x squared dx. What are you replacing them with? I don't know. Okay. I'm just wondering if there's a possible way to do that just by making it into four separate integrals. Well, but well, they're no. being multiplied. Yeah. That's the thing. If they're being yeah. added, yeah, so it, it just goes back to sine to the fourth x then. Nice thought, however. No. You can sort of adding, but not multiplying. Okay. Science, I wrote it as sine squared x squared. Probably for visual purposes, I mean, you can write the substitution for sine squared x, the double angle formula, and then just put a square on it. But if you know we're going to have to foil this, you might want to write them out side by side, depending on how your brain works best. So sine squared x, I am replacing with 1 half minus 1 half 
cosine 2x times another 1 half minus 1 half cosine 2x and then dx. We're going to foil 1 half times 1 half, 1 fourth. Notice the downfall of this one, they're not conjugates, so my middle term's not going to cancel out. 1 half times negative 1 half cosine 2x is going to be negative 1 fourth cosine 2x. And then another negative 1 fourth cosine 2x. Negative 2 fourths, which becomes negative 1 half cosine 2x. And then lastly, negative 1 half cosine 2x times negative 1 half cosine 2x. which then becomes plus one-fourth cosine squared 2x. And the slight issue is we still have a squared. This is where you can be thankful that you don't have 20 of these to do tonight. Of these... <laughs> well, I feel like if we just did yeah. problems based on the left side, they'd give us different amounts of problems each lesson. Yeah. Okay, we're going to hang on to the one fourth. We're going to hang on to the minus one half cosine two x because there's no squared there. Plus the one fourth is good. It's cosine squared of. 2x. Well, our formula up above is cosine squared x, so what do we start replacing with here? One half plus one half cosine of something. Mm -hmm. Because So up in the formula up above, it says two times whatever the input is. That 2x up in the formula at the top of your page says 2x. So it's saying 2 times whatever was in cosine squared. Since it was a 2x up here, we're going to put in a 4x. In parentheses, in another parentheses, dx. Okay, now what? Distribute the one fourth. So one fourth minus one half cosine two x plus and if we distribute that one fourth, one fourth times one half is one eighth plus one fourth times one half cosine four x is one eighth cosine four x dx. I would do one last thing before I integrate, and that is Yeah, one fourth plus one eighth. Yeah, or two eighths plus one eighth makes this three eighths. So I have three eighths minus one half cosine two x plus an eighth cosine four x dx. Now, if you want to write that out as three separate integrals, you can. I'm going to skip it this time. I'm just going to start integrating. What's the integral of 3 eighths? 3 eighths x minus 
I'm going to go ahead and carry the one half down. What's the integral of cosine 2x? Okay, so integral of cosine is sine. Because it's the 2x, we have to have a 1 half sine 2x to compensate. I'll come back and multiply the 1 halves in a moment. Then the next one, I already have a 1 eighth I'm going to write down. Integral of cosine of 4x. 1 fourth sine of 4x. And then throw on a plus C. And then if you didn't already multiply those together, you need to now. There is equivalent. 3 8 x minus 1 fourth sine 2x plus 1 30 second sine 4x plus C. It's just the worst. <laughs> I don't know that it's the worst. It's the worst. I think we've had some bad ones, I mean. Uh, I think it's the worst. Excuse me. You do actually have to show but, a little bit of work, so I shouldn't just see one line answers on this type problem, right? Unless you write a piece of paper. Unless you write really small on that one line to write out all the work, this is going to take up at least three lines. 